Hey everyone, how's it going? Sorry about the slight delay there, I had to get the old link spread around to all the peeps. Again, celebrating 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel tonight. Thanks so much for stopping on by. Glad to have you. Got a couple special models tonight in celebration of everything that you guys have done for my channel. So, you may have seen one of these before. I have a celebration Darth Vader ready to go. So what I've done is I've primed these models with my airbrush. Um, you may see that the rock has some some white primed on there. It's not a xenothal. Um, it's a little something special for what I plan on doing with these rocks um, once I get to painting the base. So um, if you're watching out there in YouTube land, let me know. Feel free to drop a message in the chat box telling me that you're here. We'd love to chat with you. So. Got the old um, paint palette out. We're gonna start everything off with a little bit of my black replacement, which is, I'm having a hard time getting things in focus here. Let me um, play with the old camera settings for a second. Auto focus. Necromancer Cloak. Let me work on something here. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Anyways, sorry about that. Anyways, my black replacement is Necromancer Cloak. We're going to use that as our base for, um, for Darth Vader here. And surprisingly, I don't have any of this on my paint palette, because I did not use it on the last model I painted, which was a King to Beth Monster um, Huntsman. Not Huntsman, Manhunter. Manhunter, that's the, the word I was looking for. So, without further ado, we'll get some paint on the palette. We'll get to painting. I probably won't finish this guy up tonight. We'll um, get some of it started today and we'll get um, some of it worked on tomorrow. Just finish it in time, or finish it just in time for Gen Con. Which I, again, I think I mentioned it on a couple other streams. I hope to see anyone there that would like to. I'll be playing in Thursday's um, event. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is pretty free for me unless I happen to do well in Thursday's event. So we're going to start Darth Vader with moving my camera with a whole lot of black. So I may actually go ahead and grab my size 2 brush for this. Let me um, find what I did with it. Since we're going to be painting large areas of black. And away we go. How y'all doing in the Facebook world? We'll probably stream for about an hour, hour and a half tonight. Um, definitely get base coats done on this guy. We'll see how far we get. Maybe we'll finish his base, I'm not sure. It all depends. If you haven't, and this is your first time visiting the channel, thanks for stopping on by. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to continue seeing... Um, videos when I post them get notified. I do a lot of Star Wars Legion painting. Um, I do other miniatures as well, but Star Wars Legion is kind of my... where it all started for me as far as Jagged Brush Studios. I painted long before that, but I officially started the studio when Star Wars Legion was released. Figured it was a way to get in on the ground level of a miniature game. It was just starting. I'm a Star Wars fanboy. Through and through. And um, wanted the opportunity to really get invested in this new wonderful game that I've thoroughly enjoyed that I don't get to play often. Or as often as I'd like. So. We're 
or just thrown on a base coat of Necromancer Cloak. I'll probably have to get more out of the pot. I didn't put it near enough down. But we're pretty much going to cover the entire mini with this. I mean, it is Darth Vader. He's black with a few other colors on him. We're using some thin layers here. That way we can come back and add more. The last one of these minis that I painted, I used my custom black mix that does have army painter paint mixed in it, but I've started using this Necromancer Cloak as my black base, and it seems to have worked amazingly well. So I would highly recommend that as your black base. Go to my pot, get a little bit more. I know some of you may be watching and saying, oh, it's sacrilege, he's actually painting that model. What's the point in collecting him if you're not going to paint him? I have no intention of reselling it. Never did. I've always intended to paint it. I've been lucky enough to have this be the second one that I've painted. Let me move my window here. Somebody said something in the chat, and I can't see it, so... I saw, I think I saw your um, your Sabine that you did, Sareth, and it was looking really nice. Um, if it's the one I was thinking of. Did you do like the black eyeliner around the eyes and things like that? That Sabine was amazing. Um, I wish I could paint to that level. Um, so it's humbling for you to say that my Sabine's been helpful because I really envied what you'd ended up doing with it. Um, but I don't tend to go for that level of detail on my min Legion miniatures. Now, this Vader I will get fairly detailed with, um, mostly because he's a lot of fun. But as far as, how did I get my hands on one of these? I know there's a lot of people that had one. I had a customer that went to Celebration. I did not make it, um, but it's a customer who's been a long time customer and was able to land two of them for me. And so he gave me one in return for painting one for him. So if you go back on my channel, you'll see the first one I painted um, and sent to him just a couple of weeks ago. Well, I painted it a long time ago and it was I was considering keeping it for myself, but I wanted to do something different with the base on mine than what I did. And the base that I did on that other one really matched his army, so off that Vader went. So I was one of those lucky people who um, managed to land a Vader but wasn't there. Thanks. Humbling words. Uh, yes, I am located in, Knox well, near Knoxville, but yes. For those not familiar with the East Tennessee area, Knoxville would be the closest metropolis that I am located near. Still just putting this base coat on this Vader. Um, it's a whole lot of black, in case you were curious. Now 
if you listen to any podcasts, my local group that I game with when I do get out to game is the Stabcast guys. So Ryan, Will, and Ben. Now, they always like to mispronounce my name on stream, so um, that's why I said Will instead of it's actually Tim. But um, I think last time they called me Jaegerbrush or something weird. It's I guess it's now become a joke. Um, but I've played with those guys back in X-Wing days and um, continue to play with them <laughs> when I get the rare opportunity every month or two to get out and play. Um, yeah, um, they're, they're a great group of guys. If you get in town, um, let me know. I will try to get out. Um, family and everything makes it tough for me to get out sometimes. It's much easier to paint. Um, so we'll see what we can do. Shoot me a message on the page next time you're coming into town. Um, the Stabcast guys usually play on Wednesday evenings at our local store. So if you're in town for a Wednesday evening, we could try to do something. Or if you're in town for a weekend. We'll also be at Gen Con if you're going. Like I said, I'll be up there playing on Thursday. I know all the Stabcast guys are playing on Thursday. I'll have my eight-year-old son with me. He's going to be coming to his first major convention. I'm excited for that. I'm painting off stream. Um, Sarath, I have heard very strong rumors that they will likely re-release the Celebration Vader um, very soon. And it will not be a limited model, so don't feel bad. Um, as I am fairly certain they're going to be re-releasing it again. I may be wrong, though. All right. Let me clean this brush out. It's acting kind of weird. Figure out where I put my brush cleaner. And let that base coat dry a little bit. So I use, it's called Gentastics Drunken Brush Goop. Um, this puck has dried out a little bit. I need to get more. I have a thing of that. Um, I have a thing of Masterson's as well that I use, or is it? Not master since the master's brush soap that's been well airbrushed on. Um, <laughs> I also let that dry out on accident, but this stuff seems to work real well. Just take some water in there, work it up into a lather, and then I put it in my hand. And I'm not pushing super hard with the bristles. You don't want to break the hairs. Um, trying to work it up into the ferrule just a little bit, make sure I get all the gunk out of there. I don't usually do this during stream, but this brush was just acting funny. Acting like it needed to be cleaned. Much better. Came back to a nice tip. It was trying to fork on me while I was working with it, telling me it had dried brush or dried paint particles in it. My high tech paper towel for wiping paints off and random junk I get on my hands. So, spaceship exterior, that's going to be my white, and the only thing I'm going to do white for is I'm going to paint the, the saber blade and base coat it white, so that when we put that red on there, it's much easier to cover. I hope the palette cam has been helpful to you guys if you watch some of my old streams. I didn't have it on there. Um, I was excited to get a deal on Amazon Prime Day on a secondary camera, so. Now why are you trying to 
fork again. What is wrong with you? Brush. All right, so we'll let that dry for a second. And what I plan to do with this base is I'm going to um, do it a base ground, like a, oh, excuse me, base brown, forest brown to match the rest of my army. But I'm going to do a color, like a force color of some sort. I haven't decided on green or, green or red yet. I think green would be a nice contrast to... No, we're going to do orange. I just decided orange in my head. Um, Urshoff, I haven't used the new contrast paints. Um, if you see where I'm pointing right here, I am sponsored by Army Painter, and I only use Army Painter products when I'm painting. Um, I haven't gotten my hands on any of the contrast paints, so I couldn't speak to them anyways. But I'm very happy with my Army Painter products that I've used. I have used them long before I've been sponsored. Um, and it's just been very recently that I've ended up being sponsored by them. So, um, I know a lot of people love the contrast paints. They don't serve the purpose that I need. So, uh, you can do... Army Painter makes tones. And if I had... Well, my son's going to kill me. Give me just a second. Let's see if he has any of... He, I have some pre-primed models of his that he has worked on a little bit. Let me show you something. Okay. Give me just a second. I didn't plan on doing this in here, but I'll do this while I'm waiting for it. So, we're going to take this size 1 brush. And I'm going to grab Military Shader Tone. So what I've got is I've got this, I don't know, some orc dude I got for free from Adepticon a couple years ago when I went. Um, so I've got a Military Shader. It's a greenish color with some, it's not quite a green tone. If I squeeze some of that out, and on a white primed model, If I take a limited amount of that tone. Now it's going to take more than one application. And I've really kind of put it on just sloppily because I'm doing this real quick while I wait for Vader to dry. It's not as fast as what I've heard the contrast stuff is, but it works to the same effect. <laughs> so to be fair, I'm not really getting paid. They're just, they give me paint every now and again. Um, but even before, like I said, before I was sponsored, I used Army Painter stuff for on my own. So that's with one application of military shader. Um, and let me see, I've got a red tone here. Just to give an idea of a couple different colors of it. So it's got a little sash on. And again, I'm not being super clean with this. I'm just using it as an example. If I were actually wanting to paint this way. But with another application when this dried, you would get a bit of a darker tone. If I could get it in focus here. So you can use their tones. What I'm trying to show is you can use their tones to paint directly on the miniature. If you're being much neater than I was, it wouldn't look bad. I mean, it's going to be tabletop quality, just like the 
the contrast stuff would be. But that's just two quick, super rough applications of it on the skin. It's, it's nothing super to write home about, but it works. All right, back to Vader. Let me put those away. Because they're not, that was not, free, those are free tips. Free tips from Jagged Brush at night. No problem. You know, I bet if you did a Zenithal highlight, you can even do that with rattle cans. You can use the, the Army Painter base coats. Um, you could probably get a lot of depth of color by doing that. Um, I've never personally done that, as I just use an um, airbrush to prime my miniatures. I do Zenithal highlights, but you could probably Zenithal highlight your mini. Throw on some tones on there if you really just want to crank out some, some miniatures. So... What I was doing there was applying a, um, what was I going to say? I was applying a spaceship exterior paint to, to, um, to my mini. This lightsaber, sorry. My brain is not working for the moment. It's stepped out of the room. All right. Still let Invader dry, so we're going to go ahead and go into that. Um, start working on that tone, earth tone that I was talking about. And for that, I'm going to go with, um, trying to decide what brown I want to work with here. Oak brown's a little bit darker than what I want. Dark stone's way darker than what I want. Let's see what I got in the old drawer here. Nothing appealing. Monster brown it is. All right. We'll darken it up with a, a strong tone wash later. All right. So I'm going to cover this whole thing in this monster brown. Top to bottom. Um, the white was just to give me a visual idea of where I wanted things to go later. I, I won't need it after this. So, wet paint, thin it down, and just a real messy base coat. We'll get a, it'll get a second coat later, so don't worry about how super thin it is. Just slather it on. And I don't always use my Windsor & Newton brushes for base coating, but it's the largest one I have right now. Largest one I have handy. Let's see here. Largest brush is not all messed up. My kid's gotten to some of my older brushes and had a good time with them. I don't mind that they used them, but they didn't clean them after they were done. My eight-year-old son, my seven-year-old daughter, my son's taken to painting recently and he's done some, he's eight. This is one of the things he painted recently. Um, He's learning. That's another thing you painted recently. He's He likes to sit in here while I paint when I'm not streaming. I switched to a different brush that I don't care as much about if I get paint all over it. This is a Gadzooks Gaming finisher. I was gifted these by Gadzooks Gaming to try them out. Um, they're good starter brushes. Nothing 
nothing super special. I would equate them to a, a base hobby kit you could get at any local craft store. The only thing I like about them is their handles are big and triangular, so they're easy for me to hold on to with my shakes. I have worn the life out of them doing base coating. But again, these will be replaced when I get my army painter brushes in. Sarath, have you had a chance to look at the Bosque videos I've done? Or any of you, anybody that's watching had a chance to check those out. They seem to be the most popular videos on my channel, and I'm trying to figure out why. I'm trying to figure out what's special about those ones, or just a lot of people needing to figure out how to paint Bosque. the rest of my videos don't have nearly as many views as that Bosque video where I paint two of the Bosques in one stream. Thanks. Yeah, I took that boss that I painted, the one with the tree behind him, and I took him to ATC and won Best Painted there. I was, I was very happy. He went over well. Alright. First coat is done on the base here. So this is Monster Brown, Army Painter Monster Brown. Right there. I'll have to find your, is your um, painting page, Sarath Painting, on Facebook? If so, send me a, um, message me on Facebook with a link to your page and I'll follow it. Spaceship exterior on his lightsaber. I really want to have a good light gray base. You could use matte white for this, it's nothing super, it's just a habit for me to grab. Spaceship exterior rather than light gray or than white. I get a few clients that want to do the base themselves and whatever, that's more power to them. Um, I have recently started doing bases that are that thematic. Um, if you watch my Kingdom Death one, it's a little more thematic than some of my other ones. The video I streamed the last couple of nights. Um, I started doing more thematic bases for Legion, for sure. Gotcha. Okay, well, I'd, uh, I'll keep an eye out for your stuff when you post. I was telling, I was talking to Dan from Dan Wolf Gaming, because he and I are, are good buddies, um, telling him that I want to rebase my entire Imperial Army now that I've gotten a little bit more experience in the basing world. Um, when I first started, basing for me was throw some sand on it, and it's done. And then I started adding some flock, and then I decided to start telling stories with them. And so that Bosque one... I mean, it, that's just a stick. It's literally a stick I found outside on a hunt or a camping trip with my kids on um, Cub Scouts. So, 
fortunately for this fader, the bass tells the story itself, so I don't have to do a whole lot of basing with it. Um, again, we're just applying our Necromancer Cloak color, just to give a second coat to make sure we got everything. I want to stick with the Endor theme that I have still, because um, that's my personal table that I've built as an Endor theme table. I know, cliche, but it's what speaks to me as a Star Wars. I mean, that's what I grew up on, so Endor was thematic for me. And I need to get back in stream, because I'm paying more attention to talking to Penny. Um, Endor's thematic for me, so it had to be Endor in my mind. While we're waiting for um, waiting for base paint to dry again, show you a little sneak peek of something I've got coming up in the works soon. Um, I have one of these Skullforge Studios Samurai Vaders. Um, I actually have like five of them to paint, four of them to paint. <laughs> Um, so I'll be doing those soon. I don't know when soon, but soon. I have a lot of Critical Role minis to paint. Um, a lot. Like 23 from that D&D line of miniatures put out by Steamforge Games. some brown on some of these areas. I'd like to get this fader done before Gen Con. We will see. That'll be the first Skullforge mini that I've ever painted is that Samurai Vader. I won. So what happened is, is I won a copy at ATC and then I am painting a copy for Dan Wolf to give away as a tournament somewhere. Daniel DeBusk is his name. And then I was contacted by um, the winner of ATC and he wants me to paint a couple for him. So, got four of them in the lines. He wants me to paint a couple. Um, one for his personal army and one for him to give away at one of his store tournaments. So, exciting stuff. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the bases on them because their stance is too large for a regular base. But I have something in mind. On at least a few of them. So. That's all done. Well, I mean, it's it's base coated. It's not done done. What I'm going to end up doing is, once this dries, I will throw a very heavy wash on it. And then, um, sorry, I'm adjusting my camera a little bit. I'll throw a heavy wash on it, and then we'll go in and we'll start touching up some of the oranges and the middles that I wanted to do, things like that. Um, missed a tiny little spot right there. taking a look at my Vader here and deciding what I am going to do. Once it dries a little bit more. So. Oh. Here's this finished painting with the tones if you were interested in seeing that. It works. All right, pop Vader down in front of my fan down here at my feet. Just 
so it dries a little bit more quickly. I need to see about getting like a hair dryer. But this fan seems to work well. Same, oops, same thing with the base here. Sorry if you hear something rubbing on the microphone, that's my shirt as I lean down. Like many gamers, I am not a small person. Um, Alright, so colors I'm going to need moving forward. Saber, we're going to start with a dragon red, and then we'll mix in some spaceship exterior to get it up there. Um, we're going to need gunmetal for his metallic bits. We are going to need green skin for a few parts. We'll also use this dragon red on the red parts on him. And we're going to need crystal blue for his blue parts. And then, of course, spaceship exterior for highlights, um, for glare, or, you know, helmet glare, things like that. And then the gunmetal will take care of the lightsaber and his shoulder pads. And I mean, really, <laughs> Vader's a simple one to paint. He doesn't require a whole lot of colors. I mean, you need black, some silver. Red for a lightsaber. Blue for some things. Green for some things. And that's about it. Of course, it depends on what generation of Vader you're going to use. Um, you can paint a whole bunch of different Vader, depending on which movie you're working on. Just looking at some of the details. We are gonna wash it with a very heavy dark tone wash um, because it's gonna help us with our blacks, getting some of our deep blacks in there. Um, I know he looks really gray right now. I promise it will, it will come out once we wash him black. But I really don't wanna touch too much on him until he dries, so. We're going to have to wait for that. Same thing on the base. But what I'm going to try to do is so down in some of these cracks here, I'm going to try to get orange down in there and make it look like it's glowing. And we might even do like an under glow on Vader. We'll see if I get that ambitious. But we're going to use, I have this lava orange. It's really a deep orange that's going to look really good for that. Let me see if I can get an example of what I'm going to do. I really don't like this parchment paper on my wet palette. I need to switch back to my Masterson's. I just haven't done so yet. have a very sadistic explanation of fun. I don't do a whole lot of non-metallic metal. It's I don't like the effect. It's just a personal thing. I've done it on one miniature. I am capable of doing it. I just don't like it. So let's see if I can kind of give an idea of what we're going for here.
So what I'm doing is just taking some lava orange and working it down into these crevices and cracks and stuff and blending it out with the earth around it and we can come back and clean up with some of that earth later. Now I won't claim that I am the best at non-metallic metals because it's not something that I continued practicing. Um, because I didn't like the effect. Um, figured I'd give it a shot. Gave it the old college try. Was happy with how it turned out for the effect I was going for. But decided that it was just not a, an effect that I wanted to continue putting on my miniatures. And I don't do it much on customers' miniatures because the cost involved would just be asinine. I really meant to wash this before I did this, but that's okay. This will it'll help blend it a little bit. I'm just blocking in some of the base colors of where I want things to be. I wasn't thinking. It will still work. Even when it's done really well, I just don't like it, um, and I don't, I can't put my finger on why. I really don't know why I don't like it. It's just a personal thing. It is a very talent, it's, it's, it's a talent, like it takes a lot of talent to paint that way, it's just not something that I prefer the look of, even when it's not done cartoony. Whoops. Sorry, I got a message real quick, or a text message, and it's not coming. I get on that way. Even when it's done super well and it's not cartoony, it's just not my favorite effect. I promise this doesn't look like much right now. It will come together when I finish what I have in mind. Right now it just looks like orange. more areas to get some of this orange put on. Like I said, I'm really just blocking in some colors right now. We will come in and make everything mesh together in a little bit. So the goal is going to be to make this look like it's glowing.
which right now it just looks like messy orange. But that's okay. And if I don't end up liking the effect, we'll just paint over it. That'll solve that problem. But I figured I'd experiment with this. Alright, let that dry for a second. Get my baiter out. And we start working on some of the silvers. This gut metal gray is just about empty. Or this gun metal is just about empty. Luckily I have two more in my drawer. And these metallic paints stretch really far, so it doesn't take a whole lot to work with. easy to thin out, so make sure you thin your metallics. You'll hear me say that every video. They're easy to forget to thin because they're generally thinner than most paints, but they still need to be thinned. So we'll probably stream till about 11.30 Eastern and then call it a night, so 30 minutes more or so. We've been going for 50 minutes. I'm back at work this week, so I can't stay up as late. And I'm just using a really fine tip, size one brush, or size zero, yeah, size one. For now, it's just a... This is one happy choice. I bought a 50-pack off of Amazon. And I don't really care if they get messed up. Because they were 50 bucks... Or 50-pack for 20 bucks. And they have worked amazingly well. They surprisingly hold a tip real well. Um, anyways. It's not going to come into focus. It's too fine. So, I can't complain about them for 20 bucks. Hmm, I need to check a Vader reference real quick. It's been a minute since I painted a Vader. Black's the one color that it's real easy to cover mistakes with. Many other colors, the or metallic mistakes, I should say. I'm excited to go to Gen Con since they finally announced that. They will be selling Clone Wars there.
Hooray. So I'll be picking up at least one corset, if I can somehow get two. That's what I would like for my personal set. And you can bet I will get some streams in of that as soon as I have my hands on them and back home. Maybe do an unboxing. I'm sure there'll be 500 of those the night of Gen Con. Maybe I'll do an unboxing at Gen Con. I can video that. Have my son help me out by holding the camera. Or I'm sure he would love to open it while I talk about it. We'll see. All right. All right, his belt. I love the detail on these minis. I wish all of the... I know they'd be super brittle, but I wish all of the Legion models were this detailed as this guy. It just, it's been a real joy to paint this both of these because they're so detailed. Did you play in Legion last year, Sarah? I played last year. I don't go to the painting things. Um, not because I don't want to. They're just usually super expensive. And... I was just getting established as a studio last year, so it was hard to afford all those different fun things. Um, actual release date? Not that I know of. I know that they will be available at Gen Con. I am hearing rumors of late September, um, not sure. Thanks for joining us, by the way, Pack the Punch. Glad to have you in here. I plan on getting Shore Troopers, Dewbacks, and, um, um, Clone Wars. And so I'm pretty much going to get one of all the things. So Shore Troopers, a Dewback, Clone Wars, um, and the two Rebel releases that I'm hoping they're going to have there as well. Because I haven't bought them yet. Origins sounds fun. I've never been to Origins. I've been to Adepticon and... Um, Gen Con and a local convention here in Knoxville called Fanboy. But that's not a gaming convention, it's a generic nerd convention. Last year was my first year at Gen Con as well. If you're just joining us, thanks for sticking around. We'll be live for about another 30 minutes or so. And then we'll wrap this Vader for the night and then move on to finishing up hopefully tomorrow night in time for Gen Con. Um, who knows, maybe I'll run them in my list of Gen Con. I'm such a procrastinator. So what I'm doing now is some gunmetal dots on his belt. I forgot to talk about the couple steps, steps I've done. We're just doing all the metallic work right now. I did put some spaceship exterior on one of his um, switches on his chest. And we're going to do some gunmetal. He's got two little lines down the sides of his chest plate. Use the side of my brush and slide it down there. Um, I'm collecting all the Legion things, so, yeah, I'm in it for the long haul.
Just waiting in a couple of, of areas on his cloak to finish drying all the way. Just using the side of my brush to get some metallics on some super fine areas that need it. That's a tip that I've, a trick that I've learned is to use the side of my brush with a little bit thicker paint and it makes it come off real easy. Alright, let's see here. While we're waiting for some of those to dry. Dragon Red. We'll go ahead and get our some of our other things done. Usually I'm a little more organized on my paint palette as far as color placement. Today not so much. So, Dragon Red. We're going to use this for a couple things. First off, our Saber is going to be a nice deep red with this. It will take two, maybe three coats to get it to the color that we want it. Red is notorious for that. And it needs to be thinned a little bit more. Nice deep red hue going on here. We will do some very minor OSL on his. On him later. But he's got one red switch on the model that I'm looking at. And again, it depends on which version of Vader that you're painting as to what color his switches are. And then on his belt, he has a red switch. One of the dots under here is red. Crystal blue. It's got one blue chest on it, switch on his chest. On this version that I'm looking at. Simple enough. Green skin. switches on his chest are deep green and once we wash them they will be darker green so we'll get those that way and then he's got a couple of green dots on his belt on each side where we're at so far. Let me see if I can get him in better focus. Come on, camera. It trying, it's trying. I tried. 
but we're just doing a lot of fine little details. Oh, and I forgot. He has on his face, he has two metallic bits, one on each corner of his mouth. They're not easy to spot unless you don't do them. Then they stand out like a sore thumb is missing. So make sure you get those. There are two little nubs on the corner. They're easy to see on the miniature. All right. We're going to set him aside as soon as I put another base coat of red on his saber. And then we will go back to working on our base for him. I really want to make sure he is dry before I add his wash on there. What you'll hear shaking around is um, in my little container I have a bunch of basing rocks. It just gives some heft to the miniature and makes it easier for me to handle. It helps me to shake less. Um, here's where we're at with this. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but it'll get there, I promise. So. Strong tone wash. And we're just going to give this a wash all over the place. Get my army painter well worn regiment brush and just go to town even over the oranges that I put on there, because we'll bring those back again. We just wanted to get some base ideas of where we needed them. Get messy with it. Within reason. I mean... Don't be super messy with it. Where am I? What is up with my lighting tonight? There we go. super neat with this wash. I'm cleaning up some areas where I see it pooling where I don't want it to as I go. But these are rocks. I, um, I don't like talking about my medical conditions too much, but um, I actually had a stroke a couple years ago, and I am happy to be painting where I am painting at post-stroke. So... Um, one of the side effects, though, is that I do have more shakes than I used to, and so I've had to learn to compensate. Alright. So one of the ways I compensate for that is with a little bit heavier handles. But I'm doing well. <laughs> Can't complain, things have been, could have been much worse for me. Thankfully they were not. Checking out a couple things while we wait for stuff to dry.
Let's see here. All right. Like I said, we'll probably get base coats mostly done, including washes on tonight's stream. I want to do one more coat on this lightsaber. Really make sure it's that dragon red. I really like this dragon red for red lightsabers. It's a really deep hue of red. It makes it really easy to bring it up to some glowy colors. So it really stands out against the other things. I think we're ready for a wash. So, dark tone, pure dark tone. I am going to use a little bit, a different brush for this one. It's got a little bit stiffer bristles on it. That's what I wanted. I need to move this up over here so I'm not painting to that side. And put it on. I'm being a little more careful with it on here than I was on the other base. You were catching my paint stream last night. I do apologize. Um, my internet decided that it didn't like me anymore mid towards the end of that stream. Not sure why. I thought I had AT&T out to resolve that issue, but hey, what the heck? Sometimes it happens. So rather than try to fire everything up for 15 to 20 minutes worth of painting, I went ahead and just finished them off stream. Um, mostly. What you missed was the basing, which really simply was um, corkboard basing. But I primed black, dry brushed up heavily with a gray, and then um, dry brushed that again with a spaceship exterior. The nice thing about using this Necromancer Cloak color as the base is that once you wash it, it provides some automatic highlights for you, and you just have to do the detail highlights. The downside to using the Necromancer Cloak is if you miss washing any areas, it stands out heavily because it's not black like everything else. Or if you over allow wash to pool somewhere that it shouldn't, it stands out really well, bad as well. Like, I should have shaded his helmet first, but I did that on purpose. Almost done with this. Just going over some of the areas that I want to be darker again, now that they've dried a little bit. And 
checking for anywhere that I may have missed. Again, it looks horrible if you miss with this Necromancer Cloak. Wash needs to dry, but I know he's super shiny right now. Here's where we're at. Let's check on our base, see how things are going there. It's still drying. So, what we'll probably do is we'll let those washes dry overnight. I'll probably call it here for the night. Um, let those washes dry overnight. And we'll go to finishing the detail work on them tomorrow in the evening um, as we finish this road to Gen Con together. So I know I said till 1130, we're close, um, but there's no point in making you sit around for 10 minutes while the wash dries for me to just end the video in 10 minutes. So. What we'll do now is we'll go ahead and show you an end of this. By hitting Thanks the like for stopping on by and by hitting the logo in the center of their screen to see all the new stuff as if it comes like, out. Hit that find the button on the social media at XX and the video that's next to Twitter, the Facebook, playlist, Jagged Brush the Studio on the left to see the next video. Hit the right, new stuff upload. Video on the left. Hit the one on the right. Newest upload. Hit the video on the right. And I hope you enjoy. Get out there and paint or on Facebook at Jagged Brush Studios. Thanks so much, and have a good night.